Hi guys, just preparing this rear wing, rear spoiler for a, an Audi A6 C6 estate Avant. I did buy it second hand, um, but it needed a bit of filler work on the edges, a bit of prep work, and I'm going to paint it in. Audi LY7 LY7W which I've had mixed up from for me and I'll show you once it's on the car it's been painted in Audi uh, silver so this is the bit that's going to be stuck to the body so I haven't really concentrated on that that much. And this has been done with a spray can that I had mixed up from gel with paints. And there's a few blemishes. Um, but overall, it hasn't been that too bad. I'm just in the process of polishing it up. So it's had two coats of silver paint, uh, three coats of lacquer, and then I mopped it with some G3 compound. A bit of a blemish there as well. And I'm just in the process of giving it, giving it a polish. So after the G3 compound, I'm using this G3 Pro uh, colour restorer and then I'll give it a bit of an, uh, a wax finish with a super resin auto glim but overall quite happy with it not a bad finish for something that's been done at home this is what it looks like without the spoiler I've just um, washed down the area where it's going to be stuck down to, cleaned it all off with an alcohol wipe and just gonna mark it up. Alright so I'm using this um, 3M VHB uh, which stands for very high bond uh, tape, double sided tape which I ordered from Amazon and I've got it stuck down on the spoiler. So what I've done is this is the top edge and then you got the sides and the bottom edge. I've left on the bottom edge I've left some just in case water does get in here somehow there's somewhere to get it out from uh, for the water to drain out onto the windscreen. And I've also left, I'm going to leave a bit of tape, sorry, the, the protective layer folded out so you can grab hold of it. So instead of removing all of it, on each one, on each strip, if you just fold a bit out where you can pull it, that way you can line up the spoiler where it needs to be in position and then just pull on the tape so you got the position right and then it doesn't stick down in a place where you don't want it to be you got more chance of moving it and repositioning it if you've only got a bit stuck down then then the whole lot you see what i mean Right, so now it's positioned on the car, uh, get it the best you can, lining it up around the brake light, the sides and the top edge and you can see the tape ends that have been left out and they will just be pulled and then the spoiler 
push down so it sticks on. That's it there now, all stuck down. I just think it gives it a bit more of a, an aggressive look. Makes it look a lot better from, from the back than the standard. Not a bad paint job for a DIY spray can.